first and foremost, I want to thank all the support that came, you know, for, for us being in there. It was very, very hard. But we had to exert our sovereignty and make our people understand that uh, we're sovereign nations and that uh, we care about our young people. And not just that, that we want to have a future for that for that seventh generation that haven't been born yet. My, my, my son and my other son here, his great, great, great grandchildren is the world that we're fighting for because if, if these people are killing themselves and there's not going to be a nation left. So, um, we know that what, we're, what we did, you know, we didn't do it for ourselves, we did it for, for that community and all the awareness that it brought, brought it sprung around the Turtle Island from coast to coast. And this is something that we never thought we'd ever uh, see. And, uh, have to support our other occupations out on Turtle Island because they have their own issues out there, right? And uh, that's what we're doing is we're doing this for the youth. And the other thing too is, is that what we're also doing is we're letting people know that um, it's time for, you know, our chiefs and our elders and our, our uh, faith keepers and bundle carers to, to bring back those ceremonies to where they've been forgotten. Yeah. And our message to Trudeau is that the great law is above the Canadian law. We never surrendered our land or our territories to these people. The great law of peace of the Haudenosaunee is the, great, is the only law here that governs our people and implementing with the Gushwent of the Turo Wampum. So I just want to thank everybody for supporting us, and we want to continue that support with our brothers in the other occupants.